Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at some RFID with Arduino. Hey guys, welcome back. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Eric. Today we're going to play around with some radio frequency identification. I've been meaning to do this for quite some time, just haven't made, made the effort to, to get around to it. So uh, most people will have seen these style of cards in their lifetimes. This is a, a radio frequency ID card. Uh, usually used for security access to buildings, gates, uh, all kinds of uses for them. This is a, a reader, a reader writer that I got. Uh, it's an MF522. Uh, it came in one of the Arduino kits, and I've been just meaning to play around with it. This is for the 13.56 megahertz version of cards. And then what I went and got, I got a 125 kilohertz version as well. These are the two most common uh, styles of cards out there. The 125 kilohertz and the 13.56, I believe, megahertz. So I also got some uh, a blank card and a blank uh, keychain style RFID for that. So I have two of each and we'll play around with it. I don't know whether we'll get in this video to hooking this one up to the Arduino but I have another way of doing the 125. Let's start with the 13.56 kilohertz version and Arduino Uno and let's see if we can just make this thing work. So we'll start with guys is an Arduino Uno uh, just because it's nice and easy to proto on. We need power and ground, and then we're going to hook up our uh, chips like Meso, all the good stuff, and that'll be outlined in the code. And we'll uh, we'll plug in our reader writer and hook this thing up to the computer. There's not much to it. The code will explain where to hook up the wires, and we'll see how this thing works. So we've got the card, the reader writer, plugged into the breadboard here, hooked up to the Uno. I went ahead and hooked it up to the laptop. I won't go through the code in favor of a better idea. I will post in the description down below, I'll start a forum post, uh, now that I can do such things on my own forum, and link to this code where you can get these example sketches and, uh, and the information about this. So let's give it a try. Let's see how this works. So what I've got is the example code open here. And it's really, really, really easy uh, once you download the, the examples. It shows up in your examples folder and it will show up. What I did is RFID master and let's do dump info on the card. And I've got that sketch open. And uh, all you do is open a serial port or open a serial window and you'll see it echoes uh, it may not show up real well. Scan PICC to see UID and type. So let's grab the 13 and a half here and hold it up. And what it does is it dumps every bit of the memory on the card to the serial window. We can, we can now use this uh, in our Arduino sketches to do whatever we want. We can use just the card ID or we can manipulate the memory on board the card uh, by setting up a writer. So pretty cool. Uh, let's try a different sketch and maybe go something a little bit more basic. So this is the, the MyFair classic value block sketch and this will give us, if we open a serial window here, this should give us a bit more basic information on the card. We scan the card there and we just get the block information, which is pretty cool. We still get the card UID, which is the key. If we want to manipulate, say we wanted to do an entry, uh, set up our garage door or whatever with one of these cards, no problem. We can just, we can just use that UID. And that's about it. So let's move over to the 125 version and play around with that for just a minute. So this is the 125 kilohertz version. I haven't even had it out of the package yet. This is, we can set this up with the Arduino or with the Raspberry Pi, but I have an even easier way and let's have a look at that. What I did, I'll find it, I found these. You can buy these on eBay for 
well under 10 bucks and it is I don't know why it's what the labeling on the back there means but this is for the 125 kilohertz version cards and we should be able to hopefully read from the card there's also a hack online where you bust this open and tap into the serial from this instead of using this USB and you would function just the same as this unit but uh, let's give this a try and so what you do with these units you just simply plug them into a Windows PC and it's recognized as a USB input device which doesn't tell you much it doesn't really do anything when you plug it in until you fire up notepad and if you got a notepad open believe it or not notepad will look after this for us so we take the 125 kilohertz version card and simply swipe it and we get the card ID right in notepad pretty darn cool if you wanted to just capture the <laughs> the uh, card IDs from these versions of cards. Uh, there is some uh, some different versions out there that this won't work on but for the basics we just scan it and this one's still in the anti-static bag but it still works. You get a little audible beep and records the card ID. You can't do the full dump of the card but you can get the basic information off of it. And from here, you can take and do the hack I spoke of before and, and hack into the serial information. And there's some Arduino sketches out there that you can do full dumps. Or you can use this version, which maybe we'll try in an upcoming video. We'll wire this up to the Arduino and, uh, and see what we can get. Uh, it'll do the same as this, except far more functional. And uh, we can read and write the cards, whereas this can only read. But if you wanted to just grab the card IDs, there you go. It's just that simple. Anyway, guys, I'm glad you could join me today. Uh, good luck in all your electronics ventures, and uh, give RFID a try. These things are great fun. I uh, can definitely do some neat projects with this. I'm looking forward to integrating these on a future, uh, future build. Thanks, guys.